oxygen CS fan here, and we still gotta plug these frickin' holes in the frickin' tree dome with acorns, which really seems like a good idea because of all the water pressure out there would really let that acorn stay in, but either way, let's keep on going, keep grabbing acorns and putting them in holes. Uh, grab an acorn, pick it up, walk through the flowers to the nearest hole, throw it in, it goes in, you find out you have more left. The heck was that? I heard like something squeaking. I think that might have been in my house though, but either way, just keep on going. Keep taking acorns and throwing them in holes. Oh no, I missed, and now I'm standing in water where I actually wouldn't die at. It's not like the, and the crack would have expanded a ton more by now, but whatever. Video game logic at its best, in terms of Nickelodeon logic. Let's keep on going, collecting our doubloons, picking up more and more acorns, doing the same repetitive crap over and over again for like 10 straight minutes. Hey, grab some more doubloons. Great, we really need them for everything, because we really need them out, outside of this area. Keep on going, pick up more doubloons, pick up your acorn, take it to the nearest hole, throw it in. Keep doing it over and over until everything's filled. Once again, she's making a sea creature fill up, fix a land creature's home. It really makes a lot of sense. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, enough of that voice. Hey guys, it's CS Man here. Part maybe four or so. Plugging up holes in the tree dome with acorns. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Did I just say a porn? Wow, that was that was great choice of words, guys. That was that was great choice of words. Uh, yeah, plugging up holes with a porns. That's that's not a great plugging up a hole with a porn. Yeah, that's that's a really good choice of words. Yeah. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> okay. Let's try to get back on track here. This place will probably taste so soap for days. As for me, I'm going upstairs to dry off. And we get a letter tile. Great. So she goes in and dries off and comes back. Yeah, it didn't really make it wet. You have a few pools of water and that's it. The dome looks way bigger in this than it does in the show. Just look. That tree is not does not seem to be that big in the show. Maybe it's just an illusion or something. Don't ever remember, there are never water squirters there either. And you know, you would have thought he'd at least have carried a helmet here. Okay, so he gives Sandy the fake acorn thing and it's actually a hive. She'll take it in, and in the course of one second, she climbs to the top of her tree, places it, and finds out that it's something else. Yeah, all in the course of one second. So let's head to the top of the tree. Okay, you'll see that there are bees flying around. That's, that's great. Gotta catch some bees now and wasps. What seems to be that acorn you gave me is nothing more than a high tea, yep. I guess. Uh, pointless fact about me, I don't think I've ever been stung by a bee or a wasp. I may I may have been stung by a bee, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I mean I once like when I was out trap shooting one day I just felt a random like pain in my side all of a sudden and it was like swelled up and I thought it might be a bee. I just I'm not sure though. I'm not really sure though. I mean I'm not I may never have been stung by a bee before. Or a wasp or a hornet. Hopefully not a hornet, because a hornet would really suck. Alright, a hundred doubloons, but here I can actually collect a hundred percent since we don't even have to collect any jellyfish. The bees and wasps are the uh, substitute for the jellyfish. Let's grab the bee. Very nice. Okay, grab some more to blooms. There's a changing tent up here. For some reason, you didn't bring your uh, costume with you. Oh, you know, 
know, I was actually thinking at that exact moment, wow, I haven't even died in this game yet. And at that exact moment that I was thinking that, I died. If I had said it out loud, it would have been even funnier. That might, have, that might actually be the first death of the project. It was from a fall. That's typi It's typically going to be from like a fall or from landing in water. It's typically not going to be anything else. I mean, I never get actually like killed by enemies. It's kind of hard to get killed by the enemies in this game, in my opinion. The AI is so bad. Yeah, you'll probably get hit sometimes, but that's about it. I am trying to collect 100% in this area and in Bikini Bottom and in uh, downtown. I mean, not downtown, but uh, the final area. But everywhere else, no. Okay, go on and belly slam the beehive. And get off it before it falls. Okay, catch four more bees or wasps. Well, we've caught six bees in the upper part of the tree, so now we got to... Oh, crap, don't slide off. Okay, it sounds like my dog barked at something there. She might have been able to hear. I should have probably shut my door for this recording. Uh, now, you're going to want to head up to Sandy's room. This is actually where you'll have to beat Sandy in a karate match later. So go on and head up here now to collect three more doubloons. As, I, as far as I remember, that's all that's up here. Yep, her bed is really bouncy. Uh, let me see. 97%. Okay, we only have a few more doubloons to collect, and I think I know where they are. Okay. Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna have to warn you guys. Oh yeah, wasps are more like the red jellyfish, and the uh, yeah, and the bees are sort of like the other jellyfish. Ah, uh, well, someone just knocked on my door, so I'm going to cut the video off a little bit short here, so next time we'll continue to treat them and hopefully finish it. See you guys then.